Who was Nusere Ini, the Sun King, who ruled one of the greatest civilizations on Earth over 4,000 years ago? This question stirs the sands of time, beckoning us to explore the enigmatic past of a little-known pharaoh from the fifth dynasty of Egypt's old kingdom. Nyusera Ini, often referred to as the Sun King, is an intriguing figure shrouded in mystery. His reign was marked by a time of great prosperity and architectural innovation, yet the details of his early life and ascension to the throne remain largely unknown. This has led historians and archaeologists to dig deeper, unearthing tantalizing clues about this fascinating figure. Let's start by acknowledging the obscurity that surrounds Nusera Ini. Historical records of his early life are scant, leaving a void filled mostly by speculation and educated guesses. Unlike many of his contemporaries, his path to the throne is not inscribed in stone, further amplifying the enigma. This lack of concrete information fuels the intrigue that surrounds the Sun King, making him a figure of great interest in the study of ancient Egypt. The mystery doesn't end there. Despite being a significant ruler of Egypt's old kingdom, New Sarah Ini's name is not as well known as other pharaohs like Tutankhamun or Cleopatra. This could be due to the fact that his reign occurred during a period of relative peace, with few notable military conflicts or dramatic events. Yet this doesn't diminish his importance. On the contrary, it highlights how much more there is to learn about him and his reign. As we delve into the life of Nusera Ini, we will attempt to piece together the puzzle of his reign, using the fragments of information we have at our disposal. We'll explore his accomplishments, his influence on Egypt, and the legacy he left behind. Each piece of information, each discovery, each speculation brings us one step closer to understanding this enigmatic pharaoh. Let's uncover the life of this enigmatic pharaoh, piecing together the puzzle of his reign. Born into royalty, Nusera Ini was destined for greatness from his earliest days. His birth into Egypt's fifth dynasty, a time of prosperity and cultural development, set the stage for a life of immense power and influence. As a prince, he was nurtured in the lap of luxury, surrounded by the grandeur of Egyptian architecture and the wisdom of the kingdom's greatest minds. The specifics about his parentage and siblings, however, remain shrouded in mystery. Records from the era are either incomplete or have been lost to time, leaving us with a fragmented picture of his early life. What we do know is that he was a son of Pharaoh Nefera Karikakai, but the identity of his mother remains a topic of debate among historians. His siblings, too, are a subject of conjecture, with some suggesting that he had a brother, Sahur, and a sister, Kamara Nebti Thirst. Despite the mysteries surrounding his early life, Nayusera Ini's reign was marked by significant achievements. Nayusera Ini's ascension to the throne was anything but ordinary. A story spun from the threads of intrigue, power struggles, and unexpected turns, the rise of Nusera Ini is a tale worth telling. Born into the royal family of Egypt's fifth dynasty, Nayusera Ini was not the direct heir to the throne. He was, in fact, a younger son with several siblings ahead of him in the line of succession. However, the death of his elder brothers, possibly due to ailments or accidents, cleared the path for Nusera Ini. Yet, this was just the beginning of the drama that would unfold. The palace walls, if they could talk, would tell tales of hushed whispers and clandestine meetings. Rumors floated of power struggles within the royal family, further complicating the line of succession. It was a tumultuous time, a game of thrones, if you will, with the seat of power as the ultimate prize. But amidst this chaos, Nyozera Ini emerged. He navigated the complex web of royal politics with astuteness, cementing his position as the rightful heir. It's speculated that his mother played a crucial role in his rise to power. Known for her influence and political savvy, she may have orchestrated events behind the scenes to ensure her son's ascension. And so Nusera Ini ascended to the throne, overcoming obstacles and outmaneuvering potential rivals. His coronation wasn't just a ceremony, it was a triumph, a testament to his resilience and strategic prowess. He had claimed the throne not by birthright but by his own merit. His ascension, however, was not just about the individual. It was a pivotal moment in the history of Egypt. It marked a transition, a shift in power dynamics that would have lasting implications. 
the throne had a new occupant and with him came a new era of leadership. Once on the throne, Nusereini would leave an indelible mark on Egyptian history. His reign would be characterized by remarkable achievements and bold initiatives, etching his name in the annals of time. But that, dear listeners, is a story for another time. Under new Sereini's rule, Egypt prospered. This was a time when the land of the Nile saw significant advancements, making new Sereini's reign a golden era in Egyptian history. Architectural marvels were a testament to the prosperity under new Sereini. He commissioned the construction of two pyramids, one for himself and another for his mother. The Sun Temple of Neusera, also known as the Joy of Ra, was another testament to his architectural prowess, but his contributions weren't limited to grand structures. Neusera Ini also introduced significant religious reforms, further solidifying the sun cult's dominance. He championed the sun god Ra, making him the central deity in the Egyptian pantheon. This move not only reinforced his divine right to rule, but also brought about a sense of unity and shared faith among his subjects. Nusera Ini's military achievements were equally notable. He strengthened Egypt's defenses and expanded its borders, ensuring the kingdom's safety from foreign invasions. His military campaigns were not merely about conquering new territories, but also about establishing trade routes and securing resources. This strategic approach not only bolstered Egypt's economy, but also cemented its standing as a formidable power in the region. Nyusera Ini's reign was characterized by diplomatic excellence as well. He maintained peaceful relations with his neighbors, promoting trade and cultural exchanges. His diplomatic endeavors played a crucial role in enhancing Egypt's influence and prestige in the ancient world. In the realm of justice, Nyusera Ini was known for his fair rule. He implemented laws and established a robust legal system that promoted justice and equality, ensuring that every citizen, regardless of their social status, was treated fairly. New Sereini's reign was not only a time of prosperity, but also a time of great change. His reign marked a period of significant transformation that shaped the course of Egyptian history, leaving an indelible mark on the sands of time. His enduring legacy continues to resonate in the annals of ancient civilizations, reminding us of a time when Egypt, under the rule of the Sun King, truly shone. Even after his death, New Sereini's influence was felt throughout Egypt. New Sereini, the Sun King, ruled during the Fifth Dynasty, a period of great architectural innovation and cultural development. His reign was not just about his time on the throne, but also about the profound impact he made on the generations that followed. As a visionary leader, he laid a foundation that would shape the course of Egyptian history for centuries to come. He left behind an architectural legacy that remains unmatched to this day. His sun temples and pyramids, grand testaments to his devotion to Ra, the sun god, still stand as emblematic representations of his era. The sun temple of Nusere, for instance, was a significant departure from previous religious architecture. It was not just a place of worship, but also served as a solar observatory, reflecting the Sun King's fascination with the celestial. Nusera Ini's innovative approach to architecture was not limited to his religious structures. His pyramid at Abusir, although not the largest, is considered one of the most architecturally sophisticated of all the pyramids. It boasts intricate internal designs and complex construction methods that were ahead of their time, indicating a high level of planning and coordination. His attention to detail and architectural prowess clearly influenced the pharaohs that came after him, setting a new standard for pyramid construction. But Nusera Ini's legacy extends beyond the physical remnants of his reign. His impact can be seen in the way he governed, in his approach to diplomacy, and in the respect he commanded from his people. His reign was a period of relative peace and prosperity, setting a precedent for the pharaohs that would follow. His emphasis on cultural development and religious devotion resonated with subsequent rulers, shaping the trajectory of the Egyptian civilization. New Sereini, the Sun King, remains a fascinating figure in Egyptian history, leaving behind a legacy that continues to captivate us today.
His sun temples and pyramids, his innovative leadership, and his enduring influence make him a figure worth remembering. The story of Nayusera Ini is one of mystery, power, and enduring legacy. From his early life, shrouded in the enigma of the royal court, through his ascension to the throne, Nyusera Ini's tale is steeped in the intrigue of ancient Egypt. His reign, marked by architectural innovations and religious reform, stands as a testament to his influence and vision. The Sun King, as he was known, left an indelible imprint on the sands of time, his legacy echoing through the millennia. The monuments he erected, the cultural shifts he introduced, and the administrative reforms he implemented, all contribute to a narrative of a ruler who was both progressive and deeply rooted in tradition. As we continue to unearth the secrets of Egypt's past, the story of Nusereini, the Sun King, serves as a reminder of the rich and complex history of this ancient civilization.